Hello. Okay, so today I will have two streams. The first one is this one. So welcome. All right, so in this stream, I will be going over two websites I have found that I use with my ESL students. ESL is English as a second language. So you already have a native language that you are speaking and you are learning English. So what I'm going to show you are two websites that I find are very good for interaction for your students, even if they are not able to move the things and they're watching you. So I teach on Zoom to my young students and I will pull up these web pages. So this is one way you can do this when you are teaching your own students or if you want to practice. If you want to practice English yourself or share this in your classrooms if you are teaching students, these are some fun games where they can yell out the answers and some of these are on the clock. That means it's a fast game and it has a timer. So I'm going to share the first website with you and I will also put it on a banner so you can see it. Okay, so here is the first one, Games to Learn English. This is the name of the website. So I'm going to type it for you, Games to Learn English. English.com. Okay, so in there, looks like this games to learn English.com. Okay, so I will, when this video is over, I will add the link to the description. How does this work? So once you are there, there are many games and there's also a teacher section. So it's free to play the games. It's just a nice resource to use. So I'm going to pop it up right now. Games to learn English.com. Okay. So if you can see here, I'm going to scroll and across the top, we have games. And if that opens, we see the games that you are seeing now. It's just different choices of different games. Okay. When I scroll, we will see an ad in the middle. Just keep scrolling down and you will see past tense, simple present, prepositions, questions. That is I really like the questions one it, because it helps the students ask questions to learn to ask questions, fast phrases, job games. There's just so much in here. Look, you can scroll so you can figure out different ones you want to practice and go through all of these, all of these. If you are have, having, if you are having trouble, with sentence structures. You can practice falling clouds. Speaking phrases is really good because it shows a picture and you have to pick the other part of the sentence. So there's just a lot in here that you can practice. I really enjoy this website for teaching students. So let's go through a couple of these. So this is games to learn English.com monster phrases. If we click on this, I'm going to make this a little bigger so you can see everything on this page. Let's make sure it works. There we go. Okay. So if I scroll, I can pick slow, fast or a review. I can pick one of these. Okay, so slow, fast, or a review, review. All right, so let's, for example, pick slow. Let's pick slow just to see what happens, okay? All right, so on slow, it will open, and you will have to practice can or and can't. It gives you different ones. If you scroll over, you will practice these different things. So for example, if I pick verbs one, 
we are going to be practicing sentences like she is eating pizza, he is bowling, they are talking. Whenever you have pictures and words, it increases your vocabulary memory. You're not just reading a word. You're also seeing a picture that you can make a snapshot of that vocabulary word. So if I go into verbs, it says round one. As soon as I click start, it's going to start. You will hear the sentence if you have this red button clicked without the line at the top. There's a red button, okay? I like to turn off the red button and read the sentence to my students, or I like to have them read the sentence. If you need help with them hearing the sentence, then you can leave that alone. So if I leave it on and I push start, this is what happens. She, is it she or they? It's a they. They, they are or is. They are. are. What are they doing? Going, chopping, talking, pouring or pudding? Talking. Talking. So they are talking. They are talking. So you can have this sound on. I usually click it off. I like to just have it off. I push start and I have them look at the picture. Is it he is, she is, or they are trying? They are, more than one, they are, we see lines, looking, they are looking. You have time to talk about studying. Looking, what are they looking at? They are looking out a window, at the floor, or at each other, at each other. So this is just one of the games. If you hit the arrow at the bottom, the green arrow, it will take you back to the monster phrases. You can practice slow, fast, or do review. Games, going back to games. Vocabulary, vocabulary. This is good to practice different vocabulary with the students. So I just wanted to show you just a couple of these. And I think it's important to go in and practice using the different ones, the different ones. Okay, so we have, for example, if we push play, let's see what happens. Shelves. Shelves. Which one is shelves? One, two, or three? If you are playing with a student and they are not able to click themselves, I would say go one, two, or three. If you noticed, when you push start, they give you a picture with the word skyscrapers. If you click, skyscraper. it will tell you, it will say it because your red volume is on. So skyscrapers, skyscrapers, practice saying your word, skyscrapers, skyscrapers, hospital, hospital, apartment block, apartment block, apartment block, apartment block, florist, florist. So make sure you look at the picture to really understand what that word means and practice saying those words. Then you can pick play. Convenience store. Ooh, that one was not in our sentences or our words. Did you see that? It was new. We also have more words. So if you click next, you will get all the rest of them. So I'm clicking on these arrows to look at more vocabulary, more vocabulary. This is stationary. So you can choose what you want to learn about. If you click on choose, you can learn about animals, the home, clothes. It will tell you what words you're going to learn up in that section at the top. So you get to choose. So it's not random. So here is home. So in home, you're going to, if you click the arrows, 
it will go through all the different vocabulary. Once you have done all of them, then click on play. Plant. Plant. Is it one, two, or three? Plant. Cushion. Cushion. One, two, or three. Cushion. Coat hook. Coat hook. So you're going to go through all of this. It will keep track of how many you got right and did down below here. You will see there's also a timer. So if you can do the selection before the time goes all the way around, you can collect points to see how well you did at the end. But this is just an excellent resource. So this is just one of the websites I wanted to show you. I suggest really looking around, clicking and playing with all the different things that are on here. It will increase vocabulary, sentence structure, all the different verb tenses. It's just really good practice. And you can really adjust the level of what the students will or won't see based on what you select for them, okay? So I just really like that. So if you are a teacher of ESL, if you teach English to other students, this is a website I recommend that you send to them. Now, here's what's kind of cool. You can set up a teacher account and you can assign things or activities for them to do. So you can try this and then see if it works. So for example, if I am sharing this screen, let me do this again. I'm going to click. Bear with me just a moment. I had it. There we go. Okay. So if I have it here, okay, if I click on teachers at the top, this will open up a page where you can sign in. You do need a Google account to sign in. Now, this allows you to upload your other content. If you have things you'd like to upload, you can link to the page. You can alter the site's content. Like, what do you want your students to see? So that's kind of cool. I've never done that. I've just kind of played the games with my students with my students. Okay, so that is one website. Okay, let's go on to the second website. Okay, let's do that second one. So let me close this one out. It's taking its time. <laughs> it's taking its time. Okay. And I froze and I froze. <laughs> so you saw me like this frozen. So funny. Okay. All right. So the other website, let me get rid of this banner, is going to be Turtle Diary. TurtleDiary.com. Now, I honestly just found this website today because I was searching for resources for a student that needed to practice and understand what adjectives were and where she uses them in a sentence. So you to learn and understand noun, verb, an object or no, another noun, like what are we talking about? And then an adjective, adjective describes your noun. So that's what we were trying to learn today. So then I was thinking, how can I help the student to learn? Um, what games can I offer them? So I found this website and I was very, very interested in it. So I'm going to share this link so you can see this website as well. So let me just click to share my screen. Okay, it's going to be turtlediary.com. Okay, so on this website, they have some ads. <laughs> they have ads. Okay, so let me see if I can get rid of the ads. Yes, if I go right here. Okay. All right, so here we go. If you go all the way to the top, you can see that it says educational games for kids. There are also links at the top for games, videos, 
quizzes, worksheets, and they have teaching tools. Okay, some different teaching tools. You can sign up to manage a student. So you can sign up. Um, I'm just using it for free. So you can go in here and you can select by grade level if you would like to. Or you can just scroll down to different kinds of games and it will pop open some things for you. Don't forget, at first, when I did this, I was like, where are all the games? There should be more. You can click on more and it will give you more games. Okay, you can choose by grade level or you can look at math games. If you look at the games, it will show you, for example, K to five, grades three, four. Now, if you are a beginning, a beginner ESL student and you are just starting to learn English, I suggest starting with pre-K or K for some of these and working your way through the grades through the grades. So this is important to remember that it's okay to be a beginner English student. Just get started and you will get it. Language arts. Language arts have to do with learning your alphabet, your phonics. Here's your phonics down here. How to pronounce something, long E, short E, sounds of letters. Okay, so there's lots of things under language arts that will help you get started with learning English. So in the case of my student, she needed to practice adjectives. So if I click on adjectives, so just remember, there are a lot of ads on this site. So you may need to click an ad, goodbye. You may need to click it, goodbye. But then scroll down, okay? So adjective sentences. This is grade four. She's a grade one student. So I would go to describing pictures for grade one. Or I could go to salty and slimy, grades one to five, identifying adjectives. So these are different ways that we can practice adjectives. We can learn about adjectives. So this is just another resource you can use to help your students. You can bring it into a lesson and actually make this a less part of your lesson to share your screen on Zoom or Voom or whatever you are using. And you can practice going through these. Okay, so go back to games. You can, if you click on the top, you will get all the different choices for the age level. So you can do games by topic as well or all games. I like to just go to all games, like games, and you can see math games, more, language and art games, more, okay, science games, more. I just want to give you a small tip. If you are a student or you know someone who will be in the US or are studying abroad, they're going to be studying, um, for example, we have exchange students. And when they take math here, a lot of times the vocabulary is what throws them. So maybe going through some math games and practicing vocabulary and what words they're saying is another good resource for you. So you can just explore these. You have all different kinds of things. But what I like is that there's different levels and you can start low or you can start high. No one's judging you. You can do this for yourself. You can practice English. I like to go in here and challenge just myself sometimes, <laughs> just myself sometimes. So anyway, these were the websites. So just remember, we had Turtle Diary. I'm going to stop the screen. TurtleDiary.com and the other one games to learn English.com. So I will post both of those links down below. You can use these resources and share them. Remember, if the student cannot click themselves, if you are sharing and teaching someone through Zoom or Voom, you can just hover and say, would you like one, two, or three? Or you can have them read and speak, or you speak 
and they read after you. Okay, so thank you very much for coming out and hanging out with me today. My name is Johnny Zabka, and this is my stream. And I will start posting videos on how you can help increase your learning for English, as well as different things like idioms, phrasal verbs, how to teach English, where to get English teaching jobs, and much, much more. All right, thanks for hanging out. Make sure you subscribe so you are notified the next time I have a broadcast. Bye.